Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little video, first impressions slash swatches of the new Wet n Wild stuff I found at Walgreens the other day. So if you guys are interested in seeing some wild, wild lipstick shades and highlighters and eye glitters, definitely keep watching. Okay guys, I did decide to zoom you in because I wanted you to be able to see everything. And I've never actually done like a lip swatch video, so I'm going to attempt to do that today. Day. but before we start I'm going to show you everything I picked up so I was able to find all of the lipstick shades from the wet n wild midnight mermaid collection and I love this line the liquid catsuit line is amazing and these are metallic matte lipsticks so I don't know that they've done a metallic formula before but just the regular formula that is available is amazing and then I found their limited edition shades that are coming out for Halloween and I don't have anything like this so I definitely picked up all the fun colors and I decided to be daring and bold and brave and lip swatch them for you so hopefully my lips don't fall off tonight and then I did find two of the what are these called metallic liquid eyeshadows from the Midnight Mermaid collection and I did find the highlighter as well so without further blabber Let's see how these work out. I am going to try each of these metallic eye shadows on each of my eyes. And just so you guys know too, these are cruelty free, which is exciting. So let's see what kind of damage I do here. Now I already have eyeshadow on, so I should probably grab a brush to help blend these. But just from hearing like what people have to say about them, I definitely feel like they are going to look like the Stila glitters. So you want to put whatever eyeshadow base down first and then just use this as like a lid topper. So this first shade I tried is Mysterious Nights. And it's like a black with silvery sparkles are and like a black base now this is definitely patchy so I'm trying to tap it on some more but it's definitely making a mess I definitely need a brush to pull this off okay guys so I'm gonna try and blend a little bit so these are a little bit easier to blend than the Stila ones because it's not creating fallout you really can't blend the Stila ones, but then it loses its opaqueness. So I'm just going to pat it on like this and see if that works. So yeah, I just think this is like a very cheap alternative to the Stila ones that are like 20 bucks. And these are like, what, six? There is one eye. Let's do the other eye. This is the shade Clara's Necklace. I don't know if that's like a Little Mermaid reference, but... This is like a green shade, and so I'm going to put that on on the other eye. And let me swatch this for you, because I'm sure you guys are curious. So this has a black base. Wow, that swatch is amazing. I hope they come out with, like, lighter shades, like for Easter and stuff, you know? They do some, like, really cool stuff with these, because they're really the first ones to dupe it. Because I know Stila's been doing it, but nobody else has like duped him with a cheaper alternative. Now, this one, again, is very patchy, so I think you kind of need to almost like press it on. And you need to have like your transition and stuff done before you do this. But you guys will have to let me know how this looks on camera because I can't see. Because I can't zoom in anymore. This is as close as my zoom gets. And it feels nice and cooling, like it's not irritating my skin or anything, so that's a plus. And here are the swatches of those two shades, and they are on my eyes as well. Okay guys, so now that I tried the metallic liquid eyeshadows on my lids, let's try the new limited edition Midnight Moon Highlighter. Now initially I had featured this in a Will I Buy It series, 
and definitely said that I wasn't planning on picking this up, but I so happened upon a Walgreens that was fully stocked, and I decided, let me take a chance and try out this highlighter because, you know, Wet n Wild usually does knock it out of the park, and I am able to return the product if I don't like it, which is always a plus in my eyes. If I bought it on Ulta.com, I could return it there as well, but Ulta is sold out online, so I was glad to be able to purchase it in store. I really like how they did the long skinny highlighter. It's definitely different ones from something I've had before. The only thing I don't like about how this is sealed is the sticker will completely peel off. Now this is Omega Glow Highlighter which is their usual formula and it says it is vegan and it has a net weight of 0.30 ounces, not tested on animals. And I like how it opens, it's so pretty. And this is so different, it's more like a white, I don't know, I can't even explain it. It's definitely like pearl and it shifts gold. I can definitely see that. I almost thought it was gray when I saw it online, but I love how they made it long and skinny. And I actually have Mac or Darling on right now, but I thought you guys would be able to get a good idea of what the highlighter looked like if I just tapped it on top of Oh Darling and holy buckets is it pigmented. Do you guys see that? It actually looks like a stripe on my face, so I'm going to try and blend it a little bit more, but it is actually stunning. It's definitely more golden than I thought, which is really nice because I didn't think this shade was going to be wearable with my skin tone. I thought it was going to look more green and more gray on me, but I actually really like how it looks and I'm putting way too much of it on, but I seldom care how much highlighter I have on. I literally think I look like Rudolph the gold nose reindeer on this one, but I don't care. If you guys think I have too much highlighter on, you can definitely leave me a mean comment. I don't mind at all. So this is actually a hit for me. This was $6.99. Now, if you are having a hard time finding this in your local store, never fear. I actually have a backup. And yes, there is a mini giveaway hidden in this video. If you want to win this highlighter, all you have to do is comment down below. You can leave me like a fish emoji or just comment saying giveaway. I never know when my videos are going up so I will leave the closing date and all the other rules down below but I just want you guys to comment because the last time I had a giveaway I didn't have anyone comment and I'm still trying to find a winner for my Jaclyn Hill palette so to avoid all the confusion and the exhaustion. I'm just gonna have you comment so I know that you're an active user on YouTube. So if your name gets picked, I will just comment back on your comments saying that you are the winner and then we will figure out a way to contact each other. I just need to know that you're active on YouTube so that you didn't just subscribe to my channel like eight years ago and now you never watch my videos. So this is up for grabs if you guys want it. All you have to do is comment down below and I will be so happy to mail this to you. I know how hard it is to find highlighters sometimes. Even though they're affordable, they sell out quickly. Some Walgreens don't get them. I was lucky enough to find two, so I am keeping one and I'm gonna give one of you guys this highlighter. So if you're excited, comment, like this video. Don't forget, you have to be subscribed to my channel. And yeah, I'm excited to give that away, especially now that I know it's a bomb highlighter. Let's get on to something I've never done before. I'm gonna swatch eight lip quid lipsticks on my lips. I've never done lip swatches, so I'm a little bit nervous. And so we're gonna do the metallic ones first from the Midnight Mermaid collection. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off. And let's go in with the first shade. This is the shade Coral Crown. Let me swatch it here on my hand first. I really like this formula Wet n Wild has with their catsuit lipsticks. I wish this was an eyeshadow. I wish I could wear this on my eyeballs and not on my lips because you guys know I'm not a huge fan of metallic lipsticks, but here goes. This next shade is called Harbor A Crush, and it's like a metallic plum shade. There is a arm swatch. Okay. 
This next shade is definitely unlike anything I've tried before. This is called Siren's Jewel and it's an emerald green. Wow, this one is really pigmented too. Wowee. Okay guys, here goes nothing. Wow. So this is definitely a different color for me, but it's very opaque. And I might just wear this in videos for fun. Okay, and then the last shade from the Midnight Mermaid collection is Sea Seduction, and it's like a beautiful purpley blue shade. These are going on so well, you guys. And also, if you're not familiar with the Wet n Wild packaging for these liquid lipsticks, it is the same packaging that comes with the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, and I believe also the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. So let me give you a quick arm swatch. Definitely the two darker shades are more pigmented. The lighter ones are too, but you see they're like very close to like my skin tone so they don't stand out as much on my skin, but those other, the last two really stand out. So let's see what this looks like. So this is the blue shade. This is Sea Seduction. Okay, so I'm actually having a pretty decent time. I'm not too, like my lips aren't too chapped and I definitely have a foundation brush on hand to touch up every time I clean up my face. So now we are going to do the limited edition Halloween shades. So let's start with, let's do the green one because I've been doing so many greens. And this shade is called Emerald City, which I feel like, is that like a Wizard of Oz reference? It's like a beautiful green. Wow, that is so pretty. And then the packaging is the same. It's just that like the mermaid one has like that extra stuff and these ones are plain. So let's go in here. So this is Emerald City, and I actually have six or seven of the permanent collection. I am planning on doing a swatch video of those. I just never got around to it. But yeah, this is this color, and I love this formula. It's so comfortable. It dries down. It's long-lasting, and these are like $4.99 at the drugstore. So this is the first shade from their limited edition Halloween collection. Next shade we're gonna try out is the orange and this is terrifying tangerine Let's see It's like a bright bright perfect like Halloween Shade I think this might actually look really good for the rest of summer, too This one definitely feels a little bit patchy so I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry down and see if that makes a difference and then maybe I'll do another layer. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the second layer. I'm not going to do any more because I don't want it to get all like wrinkly and stuff and make my lips all pruney, but I think this is a really beautiful shade. It is definitely a little bit patchy. I think if you're a lighter skin tone than me, you could definitely get away with this. I love that it's like a hot orange, but I don't know how much I will wear this beyond it being like Halloween or maybe someday when I'm feeling super dairy in the summertime, but it is a beautiful shade. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna try on is the purple because I wanna wear the blue at the end of the video. So let's do the purple shade. And this is called Purple Panic. And it's a super vibrant purple shade. And I definitely don't have anything like this in my collection either. Ooh, so excited. Let's get it on my lips, girl. This one is very liquidy, which actually made it pretty easy to apply. And I just wanted to show it to you guys. Okay guys, and the last shade I wanna try out is this guy, and this is a shade Boo Blue, and it's so pretty. 
This is Crazy Turf Flies. I've definitely never worn colors like this before. And there's never been like an affordable liquid lipstick where I could try them and not feel so bad about them if I didn't like them. A lot of the more expensive brands have crazy colors like this, but nothing so affordable like Wet n Wild. So let's go in. Okay guys, so that is everything that I recently picked up from Wet n Wild Beauty. Let me know what your favorite shades are. Did you pick up anything from their new Mermaid at Night collection or the new Halloween stuff? I know there's some palettes and stuff. I didn't see any of those at my local drugstore, but let me know if you guys have tried those out. I'd be so interested to hear your thoughts. And this color is crazy, so it's so weird looking at myself in the little viewfinder on my camera. But I hope you enjoyed my swatches. Okay, guys, so that is everything for this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Just comment down below your name or just a mermaid or an emoji of some kind. Just so I know you guys are active and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts. If you like lip swatch videos and you want me to do more, definitely let me know. No, it's something I don't do I feel like it takes a lot of time but this actually didn't take that long and it was so fun to swatch all these crazy colors for you guys so I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on lip swatch videos also I upload every other day so if you guys are interested in seeing more content from me don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and week and month and whatever and we will see you guys soon Bye!